2021. This was the year I left school for good. This was the year I turned 19. This was the first year I actually got excited about getting socks for Christmas. But most importantly, this was the year that I accomplished less of my New Year's resolutions than ever before. <laughs> Let's have a look. The first is to get at least one new tattoo. Okay, I actually did do that one, okay. We're off to a good start. I actually got three new tattoos this year. I got my Stargirl tattoo, which is my favorite tattoo that I have. I got the one on my back, which is by far the one that I absolutely hate the most. And then I got this Glimmer of Hope tattoo on my wrist last week. Buy all new clothes. Didn't do that. <laughs> Get my own apartment. Didn't do that. Get my driver's license. And then- Didn't do that. Travel to cities. I just- Didn't really do that. Go to concerts, obviously. I actually did do that. I went to Youngblood, which was my favorite concert I've ever been to in my entire life. I actually went to with my friend Sophie, who I actually met through YouTube. Like she was one of my first subscribers and we're like friends now. So that was also very cool meeting her. I also went to Cave Town with my sister for her birthday and saw the Hunter with my friend Jade, who is also kind of a new friend I've made this year, sort of. We like went to college together for two years and just like never spoke ever. And now we're friends somehow. So okay, we're not doing too bad. Keep on top of my university work close i dropped out instead do some work experience didn't do that having like a secret project of some kind in the works it's not really a secret but yeah we'll count it actually post consistently on all of my social medias being youtube instagram and tiktok so okay youtube i stayed pretty consistent with for the most part TikTok and Instagram, haven't posted on either of those in like six months, so I'm gonna have to say no. Get into the TikTok creator fund. This is actually probably one of the biggest goals on here. I actually did do that. Actually make content that I want to make, which I... <laughs> gonna have to go no for that one, but... The point of this video, which you will see in like five minutes, is that I have now figured it out, and so... Next year, in 2022, then I will achieve that goal. Hopefully. Anyway. <laughs> a million views, like, total on my channel by the- Nope. <laughs> Cut my screen time down to an hour and a half on my phone, that is. Okay, I should probably did do that. Actually, properly be able to skateboard. Did not do that. <laughs> cook new meals. Okay, I would say I did that. Me and my dad cook, like, once a week together. And we, like, cook a new recipe every week, so that's- I'm being very lenient with myself here. <laughs> Read 12 books. I did do that. Journal more. See? I, yeah. I'll give myself that one. Find new music. Within reason. I actually want to make some close friends this year. Uh, I think I've lost more friends this year than I've gained, but like for the better. But I don't think that counts. <laughs> actually prioritize my mental health this year and kind of... <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, final verdict. I completed nine of 21 of my goals this year, so room for improvement, <laughs> which leads us on to my goals for 2022. Okay, the sun is setting, so that might just have to be something that we deal with because I am not waiting till tomorrow to film this video. So my goals for 2022 are a bit different from last year's because this time it's not just like things that I'm kind of just like working on in the background that you guys don't really see. Because starting in 2022, my entire channel is basically just gonna be the journey of me reaching all of these goals. This is Alaska. There was no value in my videos. Alaska is kind of like an in-joke that I have with myself. What I want to do with my channel and what the point of my channel is. It is the name of the best version of myself. Trying to become a better version of myself. Alaska is the hypothetical best version of myself that I created in my head when I was 16. And ever since then, anything I do that's like related to self-improvement in my head is like a little in-joke with myself. I call it looking for Alaska, as in like looking to become this best version of myself, you know what I mean? And anyway, from now, that is basically gonna be the entire basis and theme to my channel. Because if you've been watching me for a while, you probably know that I've been like ranting recently about not really knowing what my channel is about and like my channel has no theme or direction <laughs> we've figured it out and it is basically going to be seeing how much i can improve as a person in all different areas of my life in one year if 
that is my only goal for the entire year. As in like, this is the first year that I have ever not been in school or in a job, I guess since I was like, a baby but <laughs> I've been like complaining about it for a while because it feels like I have no purpose because I don't like go to work or have school work to do like I kind of just exist and I was like seeing it as a bad thing but now I'm spinning it into a good thing and seeing it as like I literally have all the freedom in the world to do and learn and focus on whatever I want and so I'm gonna put all of my time and energy into becoming the best version of myself and seeing how far that can get me by the end of 2022. And so I'm gonna share with you my list of goals for this year. These are like my biggest goals. Like there's loads that I wanna do this year, but these are like the biggest like achievements I wanna make. So number one is get my driver's license. This was on last year's goal list as well, but I didn't actually do it. But this time I actually do have my driver's test booked in for April 20 something. So I really freaking hope I pass because COVID means that there's like a six month waiting list. So if I fail in April, then I'm literally not going to be able to take it again till like the end of the year. But if I do pass, then my God, are we going to have some fun this summer? Number two is buy my own car. That's... We'll see about that one. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, ooh, keep up with my one second a day. So in like October, my cousin showed me this app on a phone, which is like a one second a day thing. So you film a second of your life every day and it like puts it into a video. And so far I've kept up with it every day since October. I'm on like day 50 or something. So if I could actually like keep up with it and not miss a day for the entire year, like that'd be so cool to look back on. Which if I do, I will like post the finished one at the end of the year. Number four is read 30 books. So my goal for last year was to read 12 books, which I did do like barely pretty much because I think at the start of the year, like while I was still at university, I read literally like two books. And then in summer I read about, I don't know, like another two books. And then in the last, just like September to December, read like 10. So if I can keep up with that pace, then I should be able to read 30 books by the end of the year, which follow me on Goodreads if you want to keep up with that. Oh my God, I'm losing my voice, right? Okay, number five is learn sign language. Okay, I really wanna do this because I do wanna learn like foreign languages, which I will get to, but I'm more likely to actually need sign language in my life. So if I can only learn one language, I would want it to be sign language. So not much more to say on that one. Number six is wanting to learn foreign languages. So at first I just wanted to learn one and that was Italian because that is the language that I've been learning for like three years already, not like what's the word, like actively, not like consistently. Cause I started learning it when I was like 16, just for fun on like Duolingo, you know, the app with the owl that sends you fucking death threats if you miss a day, that one. And then I've kind of like done it on and off since then. So I want to actually like dedicate myself to doing it this year. I was only going to learn one language, but I just paid 50 pounds to have Duolingo plus for like the whole year. So you best believe I'm going to be getting my money's worth with that. So I'm also maybe going to learn Spanish because again, I've kind of got a head start with it because I did it for like all of high school, but because it's so similar to Italian, I kind of feel like it might just like really confuse me. So we'll see about that. But if not Spanish, I want to learn French because I've never learned that before, except for like a week in primary school. But for some reason, like everyone I know speaks French, not like fluently, but like my best friend like does French at college, I think. Did I make that up? I don't know. Should probably put be a better friend on this list. But like my parents, and my sister, like know a decent amount of French for some reason. And they'll just like whisper to each other in French and then turn and laugh at me. So I want to <laughs> know what that's about. So yeah, three languages in one year. I only want to like actually finish learning one. So I'll probably like actually want to fully finish learning Italian and then and then French and Spanish, even if I've just like only just started learning by the end of the year. I think that counts. And by complete learning Italian, I want to have fully finished the entire course on Duolingo, like literally get to like the absolute highest level for every topic. And I also want to use like other resources as well, not just that. So if you have any good language learning apps or websites or books or something, then let me know in the comments. But by the end of the year, I want to like get an Italian book and be able to like read it all the way through without having to like look anything up. That's the goal, but I don't, I, don't, I have absolutely no gauging of like how long it takes to learn the language. like maybe a year is incredibly unrealistic. I don't know, so sorry if I've offended anyone with my ambition. Number seven is to, okay, right, this one's kind of confusing. Basically, read or learn a language or do something productive instead of scrolling on my phone. Basically meaning in the times that I would normally just like go on my phone and just like aimlessly scroll on Instagram, for example, like 
brushing my teeth or waiting for the kettle to boil, you know, and you've just got like a few minutes where you're not really doing anything. Instead of just like going on Instagram, I want to actually use those few minutes more productively. So either read a book or if I'm in a situation where I don't have a book with me, then do just like Duolingo on my phone or even, the thing is, right, okay, this is actually a point for the entire list, not just this one. But I want to say now that I do not want to become some like freaking toxic productivity YouTuber, you know, that like wakes up at 5 a.m. and then goes to the gym for six hours and then only eats like raw vegan food and literally is productive absolutely every second of their life. That's not what this is. <laughs> like when I say that I want to spend the entire year on self-improvement, I don't mean every second of every minute of every day, of every week, of every month of the year. Like there will still be days that I just like lay in bed all day watching mind numbing TV, eating chocolate and scrolling on Instagram and times that I just pull all nighters playing The Sims. It's just the way it is. It's just who I am as a person. But the point of this year, the point of this challenge is that I just want to like replace the things that give me no benefit with things that do. So basically, even if I am just laid in bed watching TV and scrolling on my phone, I at least want to like make the effort to at least maybe scroll on Pinterest instead of Instagram because Pinterest actually gives me some kind of inspiration, whereas Instagram just makes me want to die. Things like that. So anyway, back to the list. Number eight is get 100,000 followers on TikTok. Right, this is kind of the only one of this list that I don't really have that much control over because that was like, what I was trying to do with this list was make it things that I actually can like work towards every day as opposed to just like a number on a screen that I don't have that much control over. But, but I wanted a TikTok goal because I wanted some kind of motivation to actually post on TikTok because I never do because I don't know, I feel like I'm such a perfectionist with it that I feel like because each video is only like 15 seconds, that it has to be like the best 15 seconds of your life. When that's kind of not really how it works on TikTok, people would rather just have like 10 mediocre videos than one really good one on TikTok, I feel. So yeah, basically it's more just that I want to like actually post consistently on TikTok, but again, I wanted like an actual end goal, so We'll see if we can hit it. I'm at 40,000 now, so we've got another 60,000 to go. Hopefully we can do it, we will see. Okay, so the next two are kind of like YouTube goals that kind of are subscriber goals, but not really. Let me explain. So the first one is get a sponsor, and the second one is release merch. So the reason I put these two as opposed to like a subscriber goal is because again, subscribers, I kind of don't have that much control over. Whereas these two things I can kind of do with any amount of subscribers, but like the more subscribers you have, the easier it is to do, if that makes sense. So like getting a sponsor, you don't need to have like a certain amount of subscribers, but the more subscribers you have, the better opportunities you're gonna have, so. And also with this one, I want to actually like reach out to brands myself, like reach out to brands that I like and want to work with. Because for one thing, obviously I'm only gonna promote products and brands that I actually like and use. So like waiting for them to message me is kind of a gamble. And by actually like emailing them myself, that's like how I'm gonna work towards this goal, if that makes sense. And then release merch. Again, you don't really need like a certain amount of subscribers to do, but I won't release merch at least until I have 10,000 subscribers. And even then that's like only when I'd only just start even like thinking about it and planning it. So I probably wouldn't actually release it until I add more than that, if that makes sense. So yeah, not really like a subscriber goal, but I kind of need to have at least 10,000 subscribers to do both realistically. So yeah, that was a very long winded way of explaining that one. Okay, number 11 is to write a book. Okay, that one sounds like quite a big one, but actually this one I do think I will do considering the fact that it's not even 2022 yet. And I have got so many ideas for this book and so much of it already done that like honestly i'll probably have written about three books by the end of the year let alone one so yeah that one actually should be able to do probably pretty soon to be honest like first few months of 2022 should have a book out that's quite exciting the next one is okay this one's to write a recipe book not like to publish and not even like a physical book literally just like notes on my laptop or something but i basically just want to write down a bunch of recipes for when I move out because I didn't want to put moving out on this list because I don't want to move out until I feel ready to move out, which might be this year, might not be, I have no idea. Like, I guess my goal is to be able to afford to move out if I wanted to, like by the end of the year, even if I'm still living here, I want to be like making enough money to the point when I could move out when I wanted to, if that makes sense. But I felt like that was too vague to put on the list. So instead, I just want to like prepare for when I do move out. So yeah, writing all my recipes out into like my notes on my phone or something so that I, you know, don't starve when I move out. 
that'd be nice. The next one, kind of related, is to eat healthier. This is like one of the only ones that doesn't really have like a end goal because I kind of don't really feel like there can be one for that. But this is more specific to like breakfast, lunch and snacks because for tea, I don't know, I kind of always eat healthy within reason. Like we have the odd takeaway, but like either my mom cooks something or me and my dad cook something and it's pretty much always healthy. So that's kind of like my one always healthy meal of the day. Whereas breakfast, I tend to just like not eat at all. But then for like lunch and snacks, I tend to just like have crisps or like dairy dunkers from the fridge. So, so I basically just wanna like find healthier replacements for those things. Number 14 is sew 10 garments I will actually wear. So I didn't wanna just put like improve at sewing, although that is true. So yeah, I wanna make 10 things I will actually wear, even if it's literally just 10 of these startups. Cause I make these all the time, but like at least I actually wear them, you know? It's more about like sustainability as well as the actual like sewing aspect. But I do want to get better at sewing as well, but I just didn't know how to like write that. The next one is to wake up early naturally because right now I go to sleep between like 10 and 11. The issue is that I just don't wake up in the morning. Like I don't know why I literally sleep till like 10 a.m. So that's like 12 hours of sleep a night. I don't even know how that's possible. So basically I want to like wake up with alarms like earlier. I want right, my ideal schedule is to go to sleep at like 10 30 and wake up at 7 a.m. And so basically my plan is to like set an alarm for like seven every morning until I don't need an alarm and my body's just kind of used to it. I feel like I'm mumbling because I've been talking for so long. I'm so sorry. We've only got a few left, right? Okay, 16 is to get outside every day because I don't really leave my house very often. The most I like go outside, I'd say, is like in the mornings when I take my dog for a walk. But even then, sometimes I'm either not in the mood to go or I've got other things that I need to do. And so on those days, I at least want to like make that up later on and just like go for a walk in the afternoon or something. Because it's not even really about the exercise, it's more just about literally leaving the house because I spend like 99% of my life in this room and it kind of makes me go a bit insane. So yeah, I just want to make some time to actually get outside every day. Next one is to do do an ollie. This was on my list last year and I didn't even almost do it. So basically last year for Christmas, I got a skateboard, but I was too scared to actually like use it because I was scared of falling. So this year for Christmas, I got like a helmet and skate pads. So I have no excuse anymore. So let's see if we can actually do it this year. Next one is <laughs> to meditate for at least three minutes and six seconds every day. You might be thinking that's incredibly specific, <laughs> Let me explain. So for Christmas, I got this egg timer and we timed it and it's exactly three minutes and six seconds. So my plan is to use this every day as like a meditation timer. Obviously more than three minutes would be preferable, but I mean, three minutes is still three minutes longer than I'm doing now. So I do also want to do like meditation, like, like guided meditations as well. So if you have any like links to any good ones, leave them in the comments. Number 19 is kind of like an overhaul to reach all of these goals. And that is to learn more manifesting techniques and also just like generally learn more about like spirituality and crystals and just that kind of stuff. But yeah, basically learning to manifest better so that I can manifest all the other things on this list. The next one is to pay off my student loan, not the whole thing, my God. But basically because I left uni like during a term, it basically means that I have to pay for that last term that I didn't complete up front. So I have like 2000 pounds of that to pay off. And right now I'm paying it as like 50 pounds a month, which is fine, but it's like gonna take like years. So I'd kind of rather just like save up and just like pay it all off at once. Next one is to do a Skillshare class a week. I did go through a phase when I was doing like one every single day. So I don't know, I might, do more than one a week but i think alongside all of these other goals then one a week is pretty manageable because on skillshare this is not sponsored i wish it was but basically on skillshare the classes are like split up into shorter lessons as in like like a class might be an hour long but it'll be split into 10 shorter videos that are like a few minutes each so i'll just do like one or two of those a day again if you've got any skillshare class recommendations let me know but anyway the last one is this one's you're gonna cringe get ready i want to inspire people with this journey Basically, I just hope that this whole idea, I don't even know what to call it, this whole, I don't want to call it a challenge because it's not, but this whole year of self-improvement, I hope inspires you to want to improve yourself as well. So I don't know, very cringe, we're moving on now. Sorry about that. So, so yeah, those are the main like 22 things, but obviously there's loads of like smaller things as well. It's not just going to be like every vlog for the entire year is just those 22 goals and nothing more. I've got so many ideas. Like my like plan video wise is to sort of just film it as like weekly vlogs. And so in each one, it'll just be like 
working towards some of these goals one week and then some another week and whatever but also it's like make it not boring i also want to incorporate some kind of like challenges into it so for example like a weekly vlog but on a week that i am waking up at like 6 a.m every morning to add some level of like challenge into it you know so yeah let me know any ideas you've got and things that you want to see i will also be doing like other videos as well it's not just going to be weekly vlogs but that'll probably be most of my videos so if that sounds good then subscribe follow along for the journey that was disgusting i'm never saying that ever again so yeah hope you enjoyed this video comment down below your goals for the new year because i need more ideas and i will see you all in 2022 <laughs> oh my god okay bye <laughs>